the beginning of the early 1980s, with the emergence of terrorist activities in the north and east, the police in the course of the duties had to face armed attacks carried out by the terrorists. The terrorist attacks resulted in the killing of police personnel, attacks on police stations and assassinations of VIPs. Hence the necessity arose for the formation of a special military arm within the police service to counter terrorist activities. In the light of the above situation, a special committee was appointed to investigate the police functions in the past to combat terrorism and its shortcomings. The Ranasinghe Committee report recommended the need to establish a special strike force to assist the police department, as the existing special units were not effective to meet the terrorists' attacks. Thereafter the government of Sri Lanka requested the police department to release 60 personnel to form a special force and obtained the services of Major Ananda Wirasakara, Major Sumith Rohan Manawadu of the SLA. After the initial training at Katukarinda Combat Training was given at Army Combat Training School at Ampara. After the training period, this group served under the leadership of ASP Borti Lianage. Initially they were given training in the use of 303 rifles and SLR which formed the military wing of the police department as a special striking force. This outfit was first deployed in the north to provide security to the police stations and to assist the police to counter the terrorist threats. A section of this unit was deployed in July 1983 to provide security in Wellawata during the communal riots known as Black July. The remaining personnel, who were serving in the north, were deployed in Point Pedro, Valvatichurai and Kangsanchurai police stations in Jaffna district. The impartial duties carried out by this unit during the communal riots to maintain peace, won the praise of the Tamil community as well as that of the government. As a result, this unit was deployed to provide security to VVIPs along with PSD. They assisted the PSD to provide security at all functions attended by President. On 5 May 1984 it was named as the Special Task Force and was attached to the police department as a paramilitary unit. The headquarters of the Special Task Force was at Ward Place. Ravi Jayawadana, then security advisor to the Ministry of Defence took an active interest in obtaining specialised training to STF personnel by foreign instructors. On June 11, 2020, DIG Waruna Jayasundara assumed duties as the new commandant of the Special Task Force and provide the leadership to the elite unit received greater responsibility in fighting illicit narcotic trade and organised crime, regular law enforcement, high-profile, high-risk arrests, protection of radioactive materials deployed across the country, responses to crisis, VVIP security, search and bomb disposal, fire and rescue in expressways and enforcement of the law with regard to the offences related to the environment. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.